How you doing? This is the guy from Pittsburgh. And I'm here to talk about the coming possible default. Although I find it hard to believe that even with the idiots we've got on both sides of the aisle in both houses of Congress and the idiot we got at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, that they would let the United States government default on their obligations. But come in two days, your dollar that you expect to have in the first of the month your dollars you expect to be paid if you work for the federal government, your dollar may become worthless. And it's all because you got people in the Congress, Harry Reid, certain Republicans, certain Democrats, Barack Obama, they all have a vested interest some of them have an interest in not letting the default happen. That's the responsible ones who want us to stop spending so much money on projects that don't work, like $935 million Obamacare websites that no one can log on to. My cat could have designed a better website for cheaper. And all she does is sleep on her sweater, but if she was like an older cat, he used to like to crawl across my computer, Apple II keyboard. And what do these people think is going to happen when they announce in three days, we haven't come to a decision, we don't know when we're going to come to a decision. On Friday, I clicked on Fox. One U.S. Senator, Democrat, I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's going to happen. One Republican said, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going to happen either. Nobody knows anything. It's like you got 500, 435 congressmen and 100 senators all going, I know nothing. Sergeant Schultz re reigns supreme in the Congress. And yet, there are people out there depend on the federal government. They get food stamps. They work for the federal government forest rangers, federal cops, the FBI, our army, our armed forces, the Navy, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, the Marines, who always get the short end of the stick in every conflict, disabled, aged, blind, people in paralyzed in wheelchairs, the retarded, veterans, wounded veterans, not wounded veterans, retired veterans, veterans who gave their all. None of these people may get a check November 1st. Are we going to have the Million Senior March where they walk, march on Washington in their walkers and wheelchairs and instead of flaming torches they take the pens, wrap them up on a torch, light them in gasoline and throw them into the into the Congress itself? Or are they going to be so damn mad they forget about their pain and their arthritis and their hobbling and they storm the inside of the Congress and pull the bastards out bodily and hang them from lampposts. Mind you, I'm not advocating that, but that's the kind of mob scene we saw in all those Frankenstein movies where the enraged villagers had enough of people disappearing and they stormed the castle and they burn it down to the ground. We have a Congress that is a, as Harry Truman used to call it, a do-nothing Congress. Oh, they're big about talking. And a lot of them are rich. And Congress is the biggest entitlement program there is. Not big in money. But they're getting it for life. You used to have a Roman Senate. You were a senator for life. These people effectively are in there for life until they get caught with a scandal or they're too old and they got to quit. That's because the stupid people on both sides keep voting them in year after year after year. And so they get locked in this mindset 
that they're entitled to the job, and that's why I say it's the biggest entitlement mentality in the country, maybe the world. And I think if they do this default, the American people should rise up, remind them that they work for us, we don't work for them. But that's something they've forgotten about. They think they're entitled to the votes. They think they're entitled to the perks. And they also think they're entitled to exempt themselves from laws like being made to sign up for Obamacare like everybody else. They're not going to penalize hundreds of dollars. They're not going to pay $900 premiums when their premiums used to be 300 Oh, no, because we and our staff are exempt because we're the Imperial Congress. So remember this, if your check doesn't come, whether you work for the federal government, the Army, the Armed Services, you're a veteran, a senior on disability, railroad retirement, blame both houses of Congress. And in 2014, vote them all out. Vote every damn one of them out. Replace them with the, with some regular people, not rich millionaires like a John Kerry or an Al Gore or a Dianne Feinstein or a Nancy Pelosi, but regular hard-working people who want to serve their country and run for office, but they don't have a, a tinker's damn worth of a chance because you've got guys in there like George Miller who've been there for 26 straight years and his father was in for years and that before that. It's congressmen in perpetuity and senators in perpetuity we got. Because they're too big, they're too powerful, and they're too rich. And they'll play any dirty trick to stay in office. This default goes through, and your dollar crashes, and your food is worth, your money for your food and gas is worth nothing, and you can't pay your rent. Remember who the hell did it to you. The people on Capitol Hill... And that son of a bitch on 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue who says, I won't negotiate like the petulant child he is. But you people reelected the guy after we tried to warn you that he was bad news, that he only cares about himself. He didn't give a damn about the rest of the country. So anyway, this is the guy from Pittsburgh. I've had my say, a matter in hell. And I hope all of you come next to, next congressional election in two years. Remember this: if they go into default, vote them all out. And I'll catch you next time.